to the Colossus, but looks like LCK will round things out with the Tom Kench pick and we'll see exactly where the lanes go out. But, you know, a little bit of fun here and there, but teams, you can tell, still a very competitive draft from both. It's like they kind of know something's up there. They've played back a little more, and this could be trouble. Well, they both have all summoners, so... Well, there's actually exhaust on some Marta Mad Life. Gonna look for it as well. Uzi trying to fight Prey on the back end, but Marta's taking a lot of damage on the other end. Now Uzi takes the lantern out, hook it on some Mad Life, clear up down as well. So Flay is back onto the Tom Kent. He's forced to flash out as Mad Life has to run, but Bengi taking damage as he'll shift away. Clear up though, flashes in, wants the kill, looks for clear up as Wayless down as well. First blood to Marta, double play back, and now Wayless gonna try to clear them up. Prey gets one of the backs over Bengi, we're gonna go down as well. Whoa, Last throw is there, and there's the double for Wayless. Rome strategy. We've got a revolver on Faker side, but Clearless back in bottom again. Chilling Flashes. point down onto Mad Life. Marta, Clearless and Wireless is here again. Oh, double play from Marta. Lens, it's in Mad Life. He's going to give him both. Hooks in onto the Tom Kench. He's going to look to go down. Stone will fall in, but they won't break. There's one for Uzi. There's two. Uzi grabs the double this time. So risky for Prey and Mad Life to push up anywhere near the river and thus. Basically, then Uzi and Mata having their way in, but it's here. Oh, Bengi kicks back in, but he's going to flash out of the way. Faker, we're going to chase him down, does take it. A mouse going to cancel that TP. Clear One clear up, too. by Smeb, and there's the ultimate coming back in. Oh. Great shot from Faker. There's a kill again for Bengi. Just a clean turn right there by Faker and Bengi. Immediately killing Wales. Doesn't matter that he's got a flash. Mata goes in, though. Smeb coming down, so this could be problems. Master getting exhausted. Uzi has to run away. Prey is going to take him down with the ultimate. Uzi looks like he'll escape this one. Bengi's looking for a dive. Well, maybe not then, actually, as he's going to have to care. fight his way out. He's just going to take it up, gets the courage shield, and Bengi gets himself another kill. And nah, nah, they do not have the teleport advantage with Mouse already burning it in the top lane. So... Oh, no. But a break, Clear going to get a kill, so a little lazy there. Going to get Prey taken down, but Bengi going to hop Superior away. Superior to that of Mouse. I think that early roam from top to mid lane really demonstrates that as Wireless and Faker was going for again. Prey's actually looking for the ambush here and now going to get the cast down. Faker going to look for the charm he lands as Prey's going to get stunned, but Faker protobelts him to death. One little thing you can see about Faker that's different to X-Pack. Teleport to make Push something up. Here's Mouse's chance to roam. Does have his ultimates. He might try and lock someone down. Prey knows he has to get out. Oh, interrupted. Madlife still gets, has him in his belly though. There's the flash out. The ulti going to chase him down, but Clearlove gets one. Madlife sure to go down as Clearlove does take him out, but Prey flash Cast step out from under the turret, and that might be enough. It will. Prey's good to be happy here. Mouse. Good knock up. Marta looks for the hook. Finds it onto Smeb as he flashes out of the way. Clear loves here. Gonna get ulted. In fact, Mouse gonna eat the knock up there as well. Madlife and Fake are gonna join in as well. From the Abyss of Voyages. Bengi's already taken out. Clear love. Marta gonna die on the other end as Smeb able to claim that kill. Uzi fighting as best he can, but he'll just get CC between almost every member of the team. And Mouse, he'll get away safely, but that's about all the good news. Oh, ice. They yeah. love to contend. Clear love does ultimate. They want to fight. He wants to steal it. Clear gonna look to go back in the pool off the dragon. There's a hook landed onto Madlife. Now slams him into a wall. The Bengi is gonna get the dragon, but Tom will fall down. Now clear up in the backside, trying to take down Prey. Mouse is there as well, but Faker doing so much damage in that back end. Oh. The ulti barely misses from the Ezreal. Two down there versus two. Very close fight, and the dragon did go over to Korea. Prey in any of these fights, that's just another thing that's in the advantage of the ulti. Ooh, it's done. Faker gonna get all in. Ulti's a... Oh. There's the shutdown from Wayless. Not quite a solo kill, somehow as he's throwing in poke and weaving and auto attacks where he can. It's gonna be close, the last minion's gonna die, hook on the bank. Oh. Good connect there, great hit from Madlife, but he's still gonna get stumped. Praise that. Well, somehow as Mouse is gonna look after Madlife. Grace is not enough to save him. As they're just going off here, Wayless though, hooked in by Smev. As they'll be able to dope between the turrets. Wayless gonna get knocked up there by the ulti, but Smev's hooked up again. Q is for the ulti, Uzi shifts forward. Looking for a little bit more LPL. Four man strong as Marta flash up, finds Mad Life stun chain in there as the play is good. Mad Life barely gets the shield up, but it's not enough for Clear Love as he does take him down. This pink comp is doing exactly what it was made for. It was a very early. Void stuff been picked up for Wayless as well, so Strength has really come out on the big carries for both sides here. Big and 80 carry on either side are looking good. Clear has got a bit of damage. Actually, a Protobel Eve, which I do like. Oh! Oh! oh, all the way onto Wayless, kicks him back in, Faker collects it, and there's a shutdown. The follow there was so important, went for the aggressive. So they got the kill by V4. It's a little bit early because yep. he was hoping that Bengi would complete his resting strike. Then flash over the wall. Another pick. Faker looking for it, but Mata gonna get taken down. Bengi now unstoppable. Because that's two for LCK. And again, the dance around Baron will just keep going. There is some vision in the area, but it's only three members strong. So what exactly can Ice do? What kind of dance is it really going to be if it's only three people? Yes, man, running interference on the mid lane as well. So has spotted them. Four-man ban for LCK. Should be fine. Clear up. 
gonna try and steal it. There's a bit of vision from the Ezreal as Mouth looking to get in there. Clear up, trying to find something as well, but Mouth's gonna go down here as he's caught by Smed Prey, able to collect that one in the Baron. Awfully low, Clear up, not in range to steal it. And they took a lot of damage, but that's a pretty clean Baron. I mean, there's not better. The flash yeah, exactly. for Wayless, you're like, was it Bengi's flash? <laughs> no, it was not. He's just like a second. Yep. Later. Well, Z Fake has also got their rabbit on, so he's certainly piling up. As far as picks go, there's there another go. one as well. As he's going to go down again. Too much time in that side lane as Mata. Maybe he's got also redemption down. Mad Life is the target, but he's pretty tanky. Although Uzi does a good chunk of damage. Faker protobots towards him as the lantern's out, but everyone's safe for now. And that Baron empowered means. Yo, Pio, you think flanking behind his Evelyn is a good choice, but Faker now back in base could maybe catch him in the fourth one. Good smack! Did you? There's not much to really do there. That was the most life. excited I've ever heard someone talking about catching a Nautilus. <laughs> Down as well, Mad Life saves it, but the fight's gonna break out Uzi. Gets demolished in the front lines, but will blink himself to safety. Had to burn the flash to do so as Ice is still trying to fight their way out. Bengi slammed into a wall, will go down, but Syndra's fallen as well as Smeb. Just takes almost no damage. Uzi gonna try and take him down. down. Needs a little bit more and that will pop the GA. He'll be back. But he's still got more to go. Man hey, life's fight, here again change, to fight. eat him down. Mouse just gonna get himself locked off and this is tough to watch. Man life's gonna cobble the poppy. Smeb's gonna CC him forever <laughs> and that's just unfair. Depth charge to death, but look at the oh, super the minions. minions. No, they don't have enough damage. And the only way the game could end is the win. Is LCK will take down LPL. <laughs> well, that was an ending to cap off what was a really fun game. LPL at two moments in the game were ahead, specifically early, and they tried, started to crest ahead or come back in the mid game, but otherwise, kind of business as, as usual for the LCK squad. Yeah, Faker, a little sad he didn't make it in the last fight. He had to proc through the <laughs> GA, then the rest of the team just tank fought their way to victory with the minions. But as you said, Papa Smithy, a pretty fun game. A, it was an ending, for sure, as far as minions are concerned. And I like to see the Ari come out.